Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing an all day wear test. I believe I found this one on Instagram. This is the Wonder 2 High Tech Beauty Last and Foundation 20, 24 hour flawless coverage. This is in the color 30 Nude. I'm coupling that with the Wonder 2 High Tech Beauty Last and Foundation Concealer and this is in the color 10 Light. So when you go through this video, you're going to see I did half my face. I did use a beauty blender and I went ahead and kind of popped that on the left side of my face. I did not need to build it up. So you'll see me use the beauty blender on the right hand side of the face. I used the concealer and powdered it up. And so this is what I ended up with to start my day. So we're going to see how this does through a work day. Um, it's kind of nice weather. I'll see what our high is for the day and hopefully remember to report on that when I do the end of the day wear test. But anyways, this is where we are starting with the Wonder 2 Beauty Last and Foundation 24 Hour Flawless. So let's wish it luck and get ready to see half and half. Here we go. Okay, today we're going to try this 24 Hour Foundation flawless color it says last and foundation I ordered this online and it is 30 nude so I'm going to squirt a little bit on my beauty blender yes I'm using a beauty blender Ooh, and I squirted too much so it already covered half my face so you can kind of see the coverage that it gives uh, and I did not build it up also didn't mean to put this much on my beauty blender. Okay, so that covers really nice. And this doesn't, the package doesn't have a lot to say on it. It just says it's a foundation, um, KF Beauty UK. And it also says made in the USA, KF Beauty USA, Miami, Florida. Again, this is in 30 nude. So I also got the last and foundation concealer. It comes in a little bitty tube. Uh, this is in 10 light. Again, it doesn't give much on the back. So I'm just going to kind of dot it along. And notice there's no fan noise in the background. Oh yes, it's finally cooled off some in Texas. So that does do a good job highlighting. And I'm going to set it with the Fit Me Powder from Maybelline. And then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup. I've got an active day today in the field. So we're going to see how well this performs. It does say, I believe on the front, that yeah, it's 24 hour flawless coverage. So we're going to put this to the test. It's again, it shouldn't be hot today. It should be relatively nice actually. So, but we still are going to put this to an all day wear. Okay. Test. So it's end of day. I have a hot mess going on. Um, I have my blotting papers, so we're going to go ahead and blot. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in also, and you're going to see what I see. It has been 14 hours and if you look at my nose like I'm missing a chunk here I have a circle it almost looks like a little dog ear the where my glasses were and in the middle of where my glasses didn't stay gone my chin yeah not so good neither is the end of my nose um, this side of my nose yeah and really and truthfully, I'm kind of a greasy mess. And, and I'm not sure why, because the weather wasn't bad. So I'm wondering if this foundation would be better for women that have dry skin. So if anyone has tried this foundation, please let me know that has dry skin. So we're pulling off all this oil, which is a really big hot mess but um, after 14 hours I I'm not confident in how my nose looks like I'm glad that at the end of the work day no one saw me except for the people that work in my branch which is really good 
Okay, so again, we've got this pulled away from my nose. I did pull off um, some blotting papers full, and it does look like a little bit of the foundation may have come off with the blotting powder powders. I don't know why I keep calling them blotting powders. But yeah, this nose is a hot dang mess of, it almost looks like, I wouldn't say a cheetah, but I've got a spot here, spots here. Stuff is pulled away here, and I've, I don't have a cold right now, so I'm not even sure why this whole big patch right here is pulled away. I haven't sneezed. And then my chin, I did rest my chin a lot. I was doing computer work and I kept resting my chin as I was looking at spreadsheets. So I do understand why my chin is gone, but this nose is a hot mess. Just that little streak. Mm -mm -mm. So long story short, um, the claim is 24 hours, let's see, 24 hour plus flawless coverage. I'm at 14, and this is not flawless color. I'm at 14 hours, and so I'd still have 10 more hours to go, and this is not flawless coverage. So, Wonder to Beauty. I'm wondering if the flawless coverage maybe is for someone with dry skin. So, ladies out there, if you've tried this uh, Wonder 2 foundation in the last... Last Time Foundation 24 Plus Hour Flawless Coverage, please let me know how you did. Um, I wore this foundation during kind of a shorter work day or on the weekends and I've not had it do this this kind of this kind of thing. So I think it works really good in about an eight hour day but uh, 14 I think is just too much for this foundation. So anyways leave your comments, questions, thoughts below. Again I would like to hear from some other ladies that have used this foundation. Did your foundation look like this at the end of your work day? Hmm. Inquiring minds. Watching. Thank you again for watching this all day video using the Wonder 2 Last and Foundation 24 Hour Flawless Coverage. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so let's make it a great one. Until next time.